people, people, people. Sure. We're back, we're back again. Um, Blue Tick, serious banner, back in action. Yeah. This week, me, myself, Bugsy B. Myself, Deagle. Do you know it? The Sly 2 duo, duo, you know how it goes. This week, we got on a, a very important person from our ends. He, he, I'm, he's been doing his thing for a long time, but I would say he came to prominence during the BLM and um, Come oh, movement. in that movement. He became his yeah. own movement in himself. during the BLM. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the best way to word it. You get me? I want to invite the man too, brother. My yeah. brother from yeah. Along. My general. What's happening? Along. Like Come on, Along. Look, Come look on. where we're linking. Come on, yes. Big up, big up, big up. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hey, no. What's happening? Boy, I'm there, no. good, good, good. How's it going? Things is going well. People's feeling the thing. It's positive. Come on, it's, positive. Come on. it's big. It, it, it sparked off a positive vibe and a positive movement it seems like there was a gap in the market we needed this so it's all positive it's all positive yeah. did you see that gap before you before you capitalized on it or, no, or did you just no, know there was a gap once you I, I just did what i just did what we was all feeling mm. so you know like if you was an artist you would have just drawn a picture of it and i just did what came naturally to me mm. it said what you look was feeling and what we were all feeling you but i just it. translated it my way yeah, yeah, and yeah. that way just seemed to capture yeah, and yeah, everybody yeah, else yeah. thought that's what i was thinking kind of thing so yeah. it was it's a mad organic organic situation no that's i tough. did it you know what all right cool because it's a mad story that happened you, no yeah, you we want to know yeah, yeah we yeah. want to know i need to tell you definitely that. bust us bust us right, bust so, the people first of all lockdown hit and i was like I was a chef before that, one of the big football clubs. So chefing is what I do for my, my day to day. And obviously my music is something I've always done my whole life. Just a quick question. When did you start music? Your first ever time putting pen on paper? Pen on paper? Track? Like 10, 11. Oh shit. I, yeah, seen yeah. That. I went yard and they took me to a stage show. Done. I see the man them on stage doing this thing that I've never seen so before. I want to do that. I was like, the, the closest thing I've seen to that before that, would have been like a concert on TV. Mm-hmm. American big concert yeah. on TV, Jacko's concert or something. But they took me to like a sting. And then I see it from this side, of, that was it. I fell in love with it. I knew that's what I'm doing. So I came back to England on one of them. Peanut on them, peanut on them. You know, one of them. You know, one of them. You know, one of them. So I come back on one of them. So yeah, it was mad. So lockdown now mm-hmm. put me at home. Mm-hmm as well as everyone else. So I thought, all right. Because you just, you was a chef before. Right, yeah. I was doing my thing. Obviously, I just shot a video just before that. I was just on stage with Eternal from Wu-Tang Killer Bees. Mm-hmm. They done a tour in February. Mm-hmm. So me, I brought my daughter on. My daughter debuted on the stage. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. So that was February. Then March, they locked us down. Yep, yep, so yep. I was still doing my thing. But then now, so when they put everyone at home, I was like, right, I can give them these bars now. I've got the time on my hands now. So I made it a thing of like one freestyle a week. So week, I was just reporting on everything that was yep, going on. Yep. The COVID, it was all new to us then. We was in week one, two, three. So no one didn't know what was, was going really on. happening then. So I was just reporting on what's going on. One to nine I did. So I did nine weeks of them. And then the George Floyd murder happened. Oh shit. Right. So after number nine, then the George Floyd murder. So then it even made me like, you know, it took us all, innit? It, yep. it hit us all, made us all kind of. <sighs> so it did the same thing with the three stars. It weren't really about just putting out something just, but that fueled oh, the lyrics so. for the next one. Mm. It took a little while. The process was completely different to the rest. So watch this, how. So you see, you see me doing the three stars in the car. Yeah. Watch this, how I got in the car. Cause one to nine, I'm not in the car which a lot of people don't know because it blew after 10. Mm -hmm. Watch what put me in the car. I had Little Man over for the weekend. So Little Man's staying there. Mm -hmm. Woke up the morning, I done wrote the bars already. Woke up the morning, it's like, now, got to record it now. But I would normally sound check the set and thing and do 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 But Little Man was asleep Asleep. right there. I was like, but I need to get this out now. You know, this burning urge to just get these bars out. Got to get it out now. Chow, give me the tablet, give me the phone, I got it in the car. So I jumped in the car, drove around the corner. It's like 8 30 in the morning. You know? Drove around the corner, parked up. Yeah, no one ain't gonna hear me here. Sound check the thing. That's why it came out like that, because it was like this burning thing that's just gotta get out now. To get it out. So Tough. lad, imagine, yeah. I wrote the bars, I just recorded it in the car. It's only when I went back home 
plugged in the headphones, little man still asleep. Listen to this for the first time. A tear come to my eye. Oh, wow. Before that point there, don't get me wrong, music has given man goose pimples and even felt, but my music has never made me shed my own tear. Mm -hmm. You know their way there? Mm -hmm. That's when I know it was completely different because I'd just gone through a loss myself mm -hmm. just before that. So it was like all the emotions mm -hmm. all came out in that one vid and then everyone else saw that and for the rest is history from rest is like, history yeah, from there you, yeah. you are the people you are that's the people's mad. rapper yeah mad. definitely you, you're the people's rapper yeah. you're, a bit, you're a bit like you're a bit of a martyr now man my brother because the people them look to you, you know, that's that's and that's the head and you, and you know did the, you ever think that was going to happen though? never yet you the, never the, saw the journey that. was mad the way the journey went because as it started taking off then I'm starting getting like interviews and shows up and down the country, all different places. On that journey, I'm finding out, oh, what, you don't know what they're doing down there? Oh, they've just started a political party down there. Oh, we're all fighting a fight. Now you're fighting your own isolated fight here and an isolated fight here. So then it, my, my job description changed. It was, I had the message to spread. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it the way you're thinking, but I'm gonna put it on track so you can. That job turned into linking people up was yes, part of my job as well yes, now. Bro. Now you need to know what they're doing. As a matter of fact, let me give Marvina from Leeds, Sasha Johnson, Black Panther from London's number. No, no, you two link up. Black, you see when they started yeah. linking up, then I saw my journey. Ah, your path is. That's when the movement kind of created now. Because as I'm moving... They're I'm, coming with you. Yeah, Speaking people are coming yeah, with yeah, me yeah, now. Yeah. And we're doing the link-up thing. Like, jum, jum, jum. So, I, like, it, the progression was mad, man. Because you marched. I could have never have seen this coming. You marched. Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, yeah, I marched. You was, like, leading a march. It was mad. We, so, me, Sasha Johnson from the Black Panthers, and, like, uh, Ken, another guy, was doing Stop and Search. We built the Million People March last year. So then... We marched on Hyde Park, then all gathered in the park. It was a mad thing. We had Leo Muhammad as a speaker. We had Panthers speaking. It was, it, the Powerful. unity was crazy, bro. Mm. So I did a performance there. So then after that now, that's what spawned off my tune, One Voice. Okay. Because One Voice now was like, everybody's saying to me, well, after the marching and the protesting, what's next? Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you know that point of yeah. view. What's next? What does that actually do? And I said, well, unity is what's next. So you see how when you look out there and you see thousands of people come together, the main thing you have to take from that is unity. This has mm -hmm. brought them all together for a common cause. Carry that and let's run with this. This is the bit you need to take from that. Mm -hmm. So I thought, unity. We need to be singing from one hymn sheet, mm -hmm. one voice. Shout out to Dean Okai, because Dean Okai hit me up and said, yo, that Nas is one mic. Yep, you jumped on it. How about if you, if you try and, you, you try and spin up. something like that? So you know, like, man, put it on me like, what, you think you can come up with something like a unified the nation? Yes. You know that, because the power that we're on now, this is exactly what we're doing. Yes. Yeah. One voice come out of that video shoot was mad linked up the Panthers, Nation of Islam, my Don Neo Sage was in there representing the Maroons. Yeah, it was a crazy union. So. That's a tough <laughs> thing. No, yeah, you've been doing power. This yeah, is what I'm saying. Like. Mad powerful. So very what, tough. Yeah. All right then. Mm. Now, me and you, had, we were speaking outside and we was talking yes. about the youths, them not getting what's really going on mm. and how we're trying to drum this thing into their head yeah. to make them aware of what's going on in the world. Mm. Let the people them know what we're drumming in the youth. Right, so, so, so this is the thing now. So like, the youths feel like they're isolated in their own world, like this doesn't affect them. Best analogy I would say is like, say you're on a boat and there's two men on a boat and you're on one end of each boat and he's got a hole in his end. You can stay up your end and say, well, the hole's on your end, isn't it? Fix your hole, isn't it? But if you don't go and help him, the, the two of you is going to dead. 100. Right. So you need to have the mindset of, even though that hole ain't affecting me now, it will trickle over eventually. Mm. So the youngers seem to have a disconnect. So what I would say to them is what I've said in my lyrics is, everything you see us doing now, this is the cracks we're making. We're cracking the system. See them cracks? 
I need you to come and help me pry it open. Like, I can't do this on my own because this is dropping down for you. So mm -hmm. we're just setting the foundations. So don't, I would say to them, don't see what we're doing is in vain. The whole point of us black kings coming together, even like now, mm -hmm. this is the uni. Mm -hmm. This is the strength we're talking about. So don't look on this as just another podcast. No, this is the kings uniting up to show the next generation, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. You link up, you build economic leverage together, you go into business together, you support his homegrown brand rather than that Gucci brand. You support the Muller cake first. You, I'm not saying you can't have do you white, do your things. Yeah, do your Whatever you want to treat yourself on. But make sure homeboy's been supported. Yeah. Because this is what we're trying to bring up the uni. So it's all about yeah, uni. Yeah, that's big still. Uh, all you still need to understand yeah, that as, 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 as far as black people go, we spend the most dollars out of our community. With out, everyone else. Out of any yeah, race, out of any race, else. out of any race on the planet. There's no race on the planet that spends more money outside their community than black people. Mm. Do you understand that? Bonkers. So how can we build, how can everybody get in a position to be all right when we don't, we don't keep each other all right? Definitely. Yeah, look at that. It makes sense. If you open a food shop and I come and support you and then I start selling chicken, you buy chicken from me, I buy food from you, that money's never gone nowhere. It's always in the circle. Yeah. So you can't even look at it as you're losing because it's never going to go anywhere because yeah. it just circulates between us. That's it. And that's how we build up our thing. Then we add value to our thing. Then people have to come and talk to us about our thing. It's, you got to understand it. Got we're, understand we're building it. blocks. We're because like, even when they talk about how long the pound circulates in different nationalities, in other nationalities, it's like weeks. Weeks. Like 30 days in the Asian community, 20 days in the white community, and like six hours in our community. So six <laughs> hours is mad, like, you know. six hours basically Fuck means it. you get paid, yeah. You and as soon as the money licks your account, you can't spend it with everyone the else. The first thing you do is spend with everyone else. <laughs> yes, and then nuts. what it highlights, really what it highlights is it's the nuts. other communities. They get paid, and um, for all three weeks, they're keeping they it in there. So, so, so you think about the mentality then. For three weeks, he ain't bought one black product, one white product. If it's the Asian community, he's only spending it. So that's his food, the hair, everything, everything he does. He spent, check the mentality difference. But I would like to add on to that though, that's not an accident. No. We've been taught to- To, to do that. In you're Asia. De you're deprived. The, the first time you get something, buy some rims and some yeah, spinners. Yeah, you want some stuff. Splash, <laughs> yeah. splash first, because you've always been deprived. Yeah, so the yeah. first time you get something, boom, you want to splash out instead of networking with your fellow brethren and, making and, your money and building so something. Well. So what I would say to the youngers is, rich dad, poor dad. Please go and read that book. Even if you download it on an audio, listen to that book, read that book, because that is the difference between what they were taught and what we were taught. Mm -hmm. They were taught to network and build companies. We were taught to get a good job and work for those companies. 100%. 100%. Know the difference. Big big chat. Know the difference. And that's, that's the system. Big set up. Fucking tool know the difference. And there's no one else that's telling these youths this. It's a yeah, They guys school, they've been told to work for a man. They're not really been told to, yeah. you get me? Yeah, that's the, you've been that's yeah, a good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, job yeah, are you going to yeah, get? What yeah. do you, what job yeah, do you job. want? Remember, you know, mm. they do, remember, you know, they don't tell you, they tell you, what do you want to be? Mm. Everyone's got a job. You want to be a policeman? Yeah. Fireman? A dog? Mm. You, you always work for the man. 100. Exactly. You understand? That's the system. Like that one you there that was going Sainsbury's in the morning and buying up all the jam donuts yeah, and the coming plans. to school yeah, and selling the jam donuts. That was an entrepreneur. Yeah, plan. Brother, he's he's an entrepreneur early. already. You know, yeah, if you man. do that in school now, you get, you get expelled. Yeah. Right. You get expelled. Yeah, expelled. They'll expel you for, for showing entrepreneurs. Showing entrepreneurs. Yeah. They'll expel you for that. Yeah, he was already nice. thinking about ownership. He, I didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even know the titles yeah, or nothing. nothing. He was just it was definitely. innate within him. I am a leader. I am the one who's gonna, you're gonna work I'm for me. I'm shutting donuts. That's it. I used to sell Parker pens. Come yeah. on, man. I don't mind what I did. You know what I used to do in school? Yeah. I used to record movies on VHS movie, on VHS tapes and bring them to school and shot the copies. Fuck off. So I had to shot the copies for two pounds. So I was at home with two video recorders, just recording, asking my mum every Saturday, mum, can you pick up some blank tapes for me? Pick up some blank tapes so I could record at the movies. Anything we could do at the time. That's all. You know, they, they should be, 
classes, there should be mentors seeing those qualities. Do you know what they teach? And saying, you know what? I've got a business plan for you. Do you, you know need what to learn how to write a business plan. Mm. Do you know what the Chinese curriculum is in school? Do you oh, know what they teach? Their things different. Them. Yeah, their things different. In school. Yeah, 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 I know. They don't teach them maths and, <laughs> and history. Uh, no. But they teach them maths. Yeah. They don't teach them history teach them about the and future. geography. You see their playgrounds. They teach them about finance. Right. They teach them right. about structure. Mm-hmm. They teach them. They teach them how to keep their money in their community. Right. They teach them how to build their own. You see their, their whole school. Their curriculum is. Co- mm. This is why. This is why you yeah. see Chinese people excelling because yeah. their country is teaching them how to from school. See yeah. their playgrounds, not full up of swings and snakes and ladders, and they got abacus and abacus. they got all types of things in their playground. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. different. That's gonna help them in the future. See, Remember, yeah. they're still teaching our kids about Battle of Hastings and all these stuff yeah, that are irrelevant. Things. Like totally relevant. Like, no, no. The worst Why thing is ten sixty six. The worst thing, it's it's no, irrelevant. The worst thing. The worst thing is they teach our kids lies. They, they mm-hmm. forget that they're teaching us history. Yeah. yeah. They're teaching us lies. Mm. Like we've spoken about this before. Remember, you know, a man never thought Africa had a beach, blood. Right, right. Do you know how? Now that I can sit down at myself and say, of course, of course. Do you know how? That's how you mad. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That is for me to sit down and say to myself, at a time in my life, there was a point I didn't mm. think. But then, but then, what I would add to that is not how mad that is for you to think that. How powerful the indoctrination is so the control of the media was so powerful that even as a black man connected to your roots in different ways you still thought that yeah that power of that media how powerful is that i can bust through every barrier all your teaching everything that's around you and still make you think that is a madness and then tell you and then tell you about timbuktu and make you think that it was somewhere in in mars and mars Timbuktu is these times is the furthest right. place it's for the first the, place that had universities that had universities people traveling all yeah. over the world to come and learn to go to go to Timbuktu and, and you know what this is what the youth need to understand I might say oh, don't even box you to Timbuktu mm. you think it was just you get like, like, yeah, yeah, it was space, just, yeah. Like, like, that might as well be to Mars yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. you get what I'm saying like the youth them are gonna understand like a lot of what you're being taught and the way you're reacting is is what they is what your your program all right so as you say that i have got to tell the youth them about willie lynch just in case mm-hmm. any of the youth them ain't heard this name willie lynch mm-hmm. go and research this brother called willie lynch because willie lynch was a slave master who was famous for willie how you got a plantation of three thousand slaves but there's only 10 slave masters controlling them like, how do you do this willie like, why don't they overthrow you? They could kill you any time. Willie had an indoctrination, a teaching, like a method, how to control your slaves. You pit them against each other. You find the differences between them and pit those differences between them. So if you're lighter and you're darker, you come from Bigger different tribes. Right, bang, right, pit that yeah. tribe against that tribe. Yeah. If you're big and you're small, if you're male, mm. Fit, mm. so they used to find the difference. So it's a science. So what, we're living out today what, what we see as postcode war, turf war, gang war, where you think, no, 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 forget everything you're saying. My ops directly did something, that's why I'm responding. You think that, but the environment that you've been put in has been set up by the Willie Lynch thinkers. Mm-hmm. They put us all together in the ghetto. They put us all together over there. Sister. And then they took out resources and introduced drugs and yes. guns. Because well. if you go to Chelsea right now, there's no drugs and guns for the 13 year old white kids in Chelsea. But then if you go to Brixton, they can get guns and drugs easier than they can get. 25 minutes down the road. They can get, they can get guns easier than they can get a bag of weed. In Chelsea, that's not the case. Why do they land there and not there? Right, mm. so once you start to understand the construct of even how they've set up the ghettos, set up the areas that we're in. That's why they called them projects in America. That's why you're in this experiment with your own brother fighting against them. 
and you will find anything that he's doing to explain why you've got a beef with him, when really there's been a bigger game being played up here, what was talked down from Willie Lynch. So Willie Lynch is in his grave saying, ah, my plan's working perfect. Yep. Every time one black man kills another black man, and you making up all these reasons, food, money, ops, da da da, my get no, no, no. Willie Lynch is like, ah, another one. It's worked perfectly. So another thing I want to say to the youngers, Willie Lynch wrote down in a speech, implement these rules correctly and they will last for no less than 300 years. Willie Lynch been dead 200 and something years. So as far as he's concerned, his prediction's running right to T. Yeah, 100. They ain't your ops. That's the wrong ops. You got the wrong ops. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> it's real. It's you got yeah, the wrong ops. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, got the wrong a, lot of people, a lot of black people don't know about Willie Lynch. But I wouldn't know that if I didn't Do the study it, got yeah. the research. I wouldn't have known myself. I, I, so I'm like, well, we were kept away from this knowledge. Because of course they don't want you to know. That was a, a plan, you know? I planned that. So imagine if you woke up tomorrow and you thought, rah, everything I've been doing was someone else's plan. All right. You start moving different. Now you will start you moving start different. You start moving different without even, mm. without even knowing it. Once you start looking through your history and knowing what's really so out there and what's really, no like, you, 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 you start, start moving it. different. You need to look at your ops and think, rah, what have they got over them ends that we haven't got over them ends? How can we make a business together and kill the market, both of us? That's how we need to be thinking. This is the future. Your ops, hey, listen, your ops you know. is your future business partner. Nah, listen, you know. It's as simple as that. Your ops is your future business partner. Because he ain't really your ops. Because you if it all comes down tomorrow, all of you put under the same bracket, none of you own these postcodes, what, you, what you're fighting over, all of you come under the same bracket and you will all be that second class. They won't care the individual beefs. They'll be happy for it. Leave you to dead. Mm. Just leave you to fight and Assisted, kill each other. Man. It's, it's something I can give my police a budget for to go in there and infiltrate. What, you two still ain't clocked it yet? Oh, yeah, my police can get paid for that. And we can go to court and make claims for that. And, oh, yeah, we can make money in eight different ways because you ain't figured it out yet. Mm. Hey, yeah, we'll keep fighting each other. They, yeah. they've got it's to understand. Deep, it's fucking horrible. It's I remember, I remember, yeah. Deep. I remember, yeah. I'm going to show you this. This is how deep this thing is, yeah. I was in jail, yeah. And they made me do the victim awareness course, yeah. Imagine, imagine that the number one governor come to give out the certificates at the end of the course, right? And this, this, you see this speech here, the speech that the man gave, yeah. It hit me more than most things in my life. And giving out the certificates and whatever, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. So then he said, Prison is a business and it's booming. And he looked at all of us, you know, he looked at every man in the jail and he said to, if it's not you, it will be some other mugs. Brother, brother, I'm sitting there looking at this brother like, it's mad still. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And that's his yeah. truth. Brother, and it really, no like, I swear truth. to you, like, it really hit home today. Like, hit home. Hold on. The man said it's a business and if it's not us, it's somebody else. Yeah, that's mm. his truth. And it's real. Yeah. Ain't no bigger business than prison no right now, business. and you use all feed into it. You all play yeah. your part, and and it's and it's not that you're it's misinformation. You don't understand what's going on. That's it. It's not that it's, it's not that you're stupid or you're angry no, or anything. No one ain't got misinformation. Like, no one ain't got no like we weren't at that point at one time as all well. Right. There was a time I was running around crazy, didn't know no better, but now I know better. I have to do better, definitely, and teach better. Have to, because I know better now. Exactly. There was a point I didn't know no about. A hundred percent. It's not about anybody is stupid, stupid or, or, at, or mad or, or bad or, or nothing. You know none of that. that. None of that. None You're of that. misinformed. You don't understand misinformed. what's really going on around you. You get me? You got to give yourself Uneducated, a chance. Uneducated, innit? Yeah. Got to give yourself a chance, man. And, and what you got to remember as well, that, like this kind of knowledge and the things we're talking about, that's not in mainstream media. You got to go and search for that. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say that. You got to be connected mm -hmm. to kings who are on that wavelength, mm -hmm. on that vibration. Because if you're surrounding yourself with people who are only doing mm -hmm. trap, Drill, road, da da da. Yeah, and that's the same vibration. All it's the time. simple. Show me Anything your friends. If you need to know, you got to go out and research it. Research. Show, Show me your, your friends and I'll tell you. What's irrelevant to you? Yeah, they yeah, advertise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See it there? You understand? See it there? Mm. See it there? You know what my uncle used to say? My uncle from Yada used to say, what would kind of be the analogy for that? He said, anything with tears good, bad for you. 
uh, if it is bitter, you go to it. Yeah, and like, it's real. And it's real. That's what he used to say. It's real, man. And it's real. And that was his analogy for everything. You'd come to the most complicated thing and they'd be like, <laughs> the only thing went here. Sky Steve Blue. Yeah. Sky Steve Blue. Sky Blue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Same thing, like, what's, what's happening since the marches is there? I don't, see no, I don't see no big changes. What, did you expect the system to, like, flip upside down overnight? What, what the whole of the monarchy the and everything been in just place for broken how long? See that bridging? What's that bridging doing to help support the movement? Right, exactly. No, I'm bro. asking you. Not a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a lot. Mm. But then, what you got to realise is, there's lots of those. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, ain't my job to wake people up. Yeah, yeah, but there can be a lot of them, you know. You see, if you're keeping your mouth stunned, you mm -hmm. won't know what you think. But you see, when yeah. a man's open with it, you yeah. have to hit him back and say, what are you... Everybody has to contribute to this team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like ants. Yeah. One right. ant is pointless. Yeah. One ant has no use. 100, 100. See, a million ants, they yeah. get the job done. Get they the get job shit done. done. They get me. Yeah, yeah, it's simple as that. Reality. Yeah, you 100%. Love that. You love that one. You have to, you have to so. play your part. You, mm, have, you have to, to man. You have to play your part because that is one of our biggest things as well. Like, we've got so much to cuss about what's happened and the trauma and what we've been through and, you know, like, second. But then there's a primary, like, there's a whole heap of what we ain't done. Now, we ain't done this. Mm -hmm. like, this is new. Th this isn't a historic thing of black men linking up and trying to forward onto the... Definitely. That's individual pockets have done that over time. Mm -hmm. So, like, we have built up business. We can name lots of different other minorities or ethnicities, I should say, that have. who have done things that we say we should have done. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's a, a hand of it that's on us as well. Yep, 100%. And, and it's just that time now. It's like, you know, there's 100%. been a lot of us been fighting this fight for a long time. Like, shout out to Raspek. Raspek will tell you that he's been out here for 12 years trying to chat to him. I know we're listening. Mm. But, all right, irrelevant now. You listening now? We'll come. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, there's something here now. We, we ain't even got time to yeah, yeah. on the past because we're, at, we're in the we end game now. Yeah, we're we ain't got time. Got time. We're in the end game. That's time. exactly cool. it. That is it. Are you with us now? Right, let's go. If you're not, then you're going to see. You'll come, not, you'll come in the end, you know? Yeah. This is the worst thing, you know? Yeah. If you can't see the end game now, you're going to see it when it's too see, late yeah, and then you're going to come. You're full shot. No, yeah. you're going to come. No, yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? You're going to come or you're full. It's better because, guys without being full. Because even like the state of this world now with this whole COVID and vaccine thing, like, mm. there's, 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 a, there's a bunch of sheeps that are taking this vaccine that are making people think that it's cool to take vaccine. Mm. These times, nobody don't know what vaccine does. Yeah. No, there's yeah. not a doctor on this planet that can tell you in a year he knows what the vaccine's going to do because this is all some untried, untested thing. Do you know, when the trial's supposed to, the experiment's supposed to be up in two first. Someone sent me something the other day mm. about the three different vaccines, yeah? Their experiment date, their start date and experiment date. They don't finish experiment until 2023. Right. Yeah. That's when the test, the trial is up. Yeah, I'm not a guinea pig. So everyone's trial, everyone, everyone is, is a, tri yeah, a, a yeah, trial. Yeah, a trial now. Yeah, yeah, Experiment. Yeah, yeah. They started rolling this out like within like eight months. Bruv. Everyone's saying like a year, year. No, no, no. Now it's been a year. Come this on. thing been rolling out from like November. Come on. Right. Right, from when they first started. So you know, how much illnesses are out there, blood? That's eight months. Well, they can find a cure for his polio. Let me ask somebody yeah. this. Wait, let me ask all <laughs> for you this. Mm. Have you not noticed no one has the flu anymore? There's no such thing as the flu again. Like, what's going on? No, it's have you not? Still. No, yeah. I'm not joking. Right. No one has the flu. I haven't had. No, I haven't no, heard no, of anybody still. saying I've had the flu. Yeah, and then the and flu's then, just gone. And then another no, thing I was thing. gonna say as well, like someone said to me once, I'm like, so then all the tramps that's not getting this care. That's not they're getting not no dead. like. Sh so the hospital should be swarmed with tramps, homeless people. Because you the ones who can't take care of yourself. Out in the cold, of course this thing's going to name you first. You want me to give you a joke? No, there are no police officers. You Where's all the police officers aye. that are supposed to dead off this thing? Because for months you lot weren't wearing masks. Do you know who died aye, off these things? Bring that like, Where's all these police aye, officers that are going to you bring that up? Do so you, want me, it's, it's you want me to let you know well. what confirmed that this thing was not what it was? You want me to tell you the person, and this is going to sound mad, Fritz. Yeah. 
Fritz. Mm. I swear to God. Fritz. See when it first happened. Mm. See when it first happened, yeah? And remember we was remember remember I'm a gas man. So I'm 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 frontline, I'm working You're through this shit. And the only person that I'm seeing out here is Fritz. Is Fritz. And, the whole and he's, <laughs> listen, and he's always all right. Yeah. He's good. I'm saying, I was shook for him. Yeah. Brother, you see, when I heard about this, I used to look out for him. Mm. When this thing first started, I'm yeah. looking for him. Like, I beg you, make sure Fritz mm. is all right. Yeah. So you know what it is? It's a thing like, there's a thing out there, it kills 1% of the population. People who are no longer contributing to society. Mm. See it there? Do you get me? But then... This one percent, you've blown that one percent up now, because it's something you don't know of already. You don't know this thing. You've blown the one percent up to shut the whole world down for the one percent. So now, there's people that's going to catch it, and it's going to end up most severe for you. But that one percent in society, compared to all the other things, like more youths are committing suicide and dying than the rate of what COVID's killing them. And then you've put out a vaccine and said, all right, I see the wickedest analogy. It was like a mechanics. And it was like, all right, your car is good at the minute. There's a 99% chance that your car will run fine forever. But I can put this experimental fuel in it. There's a chance this fuel could mash your engine completely. But... Loads of you other people are getting an MOT and they're getting the fuel and they'll feel better if you get your car fueled up. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. They will feel better if you fuel up your things too. Yeah. Just to make it look like we're all standing in and we all fueled up our something. Honey. But there's nothing wrong with your car at the moment though. But it could go something wrong if you put it in there. Possibly. 90, 90% chance. 99. So at the moment though, there's nothing wrong with your car though. But add this thing to it. But put this I, thing Add this there. stuff. Yeah. Because loads of other people's and it cars. Might go wrong. So one percent of the population's cars have popped down and we put this fuel in some of their cars and it fixed some of them. It didn't even fix all of the ones oh. we put in. It fixed some of them. But it's some of the cars got worse when we put the fuel in. But fuel up your things. You know what I want to see in my comments? You know what I want to see mm. in the comments? I want to see who's for the vaccine and who's not vaccine. Oh, shit. Who's pro and who's against? Oh, who's anti and who's pro? And your reasons as well. Yeah. It's, it's Let me know your reasons in that as well. Mm. It's, it's not, not just as simple as I, I don't trust the government. Or It's like, do your research as well. Like, Look at AstraZeneca. Look at Johnson & Johnson. Look at Pfizer. Look at yes, Pfizer. Yeah. Right, one thing I will say to everybody, look at Pfizer's history. Disgusting. Go and look at Pfizer's history, mm. how many lawsuits they've had, they and are how many mass, times they're mass murderers. They paid millions out to cover up what so just look at Pfizer and then Johnson and Johnson. Big mm-hmm. cancer you know, case from, like, yeah, from, yeah, from, yeah. from the talcum powder. Like, from like I, would, I wouldn't even yes, I wouldn't yes, even name yes, man. What about all these things you're looking at me like raw bugs, you know them things. I wouldn't even name them like that. But you're not putting yourself on front street wanting me to trust you with my life. Mm. So no, I have to holler you out. Because the youngers don't know the difference. They're just our vaccine. No, there's tree man offering vaccines and one of them was the one who gave us baby powder. And that caused cancer. You couldn't even make powder for Pitney that was I know, I know. but now you're going to make a vaccine so, what, adults. Yeah. so what's Johnson & Johnson's <laughs> vaccine just for everyone who don't know out there Johnson & Johnson put out a vaccine then they start getting some mad adverse reactions off of this vaccine so Johnson & Johnson pulled their vaccine off the market can we just say that again Johnson & Johnson put a vaccine on the market there were so many adverse effects they pulled it off the market let me test this a little more first before I start giving it out. A month later, they go, yeah, we're good to go again. Should go put it back on the market. Can you trust Johnson & Johnson's vaccine? <laughs> 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 yeah, because it's an individual choice. That. Exactly you, what you said, yeah, it's an individual you, choice. Yeah. You it's trust It's your them. choice. It's your choice. So yeah. then imagine if you don't have that information privy to hand, then Johnson & Johnson come, I've got a thing for you. Like, yeah, yeah, come. Yeah, give me yeah, when they say, and the worst thing is, yeah. Oh, yeah, and man, that's the worst yeah, thing. Mm. You know, that's the they're worst thing. They're still reputable. That's the They're still reputable, even though they've done. That's the sites. Because you get to your use. Yes, brother. Give this to my pitney. Yes, they won't hurt me. They don't hurt my baby. Yeah, right. Come. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. sad. That's all it is. Because all it is is just that the the main media stations ain't putting on all the what? cases yeah, of when they're not it giving went you wrong. That. They can't do that. They can't do that. They can't do that. So you just don't know when it went wrong. As far as I'm concerned, if you've come up with a vaccine, 
to cure this 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 new, virus that you might have that you don't know that you got when you got it. I don't know that I got that. Do you understand me? So people, remember, people don't know. You need a test. I need a test to, to see find if out if it. you have it. Your body, your body that you've been living in your whole life would would not tell you. No science. That, right, so cool. asymptomatic. Okay. Most cool. people can be asymptomatic. Yeah, if okay. it was Ebola, there would be no question do about you have you got yeah, it? Yeah, do, you get, it? do you get what I'm trying to say? Most other diseases, there's no question. And they tell you you lose your taste. You could have it, but. You could have this thing. No, we got, I'm going to buy us, uh, get some from work. So the work ones are good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, yeah, I'll go into, yeah, we'll get as much as we can. Why can't we go in there like that? Like, 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 Why do you go into the, go into the kids? Let's get them off Gab, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. They need to know. Say You get it? You should be able to get loads that way. Anything else? Any other subjects? Or no, so we will finish that. So right. the vaccine. Yeah. The vaccine that they that you that that we know that you because this what this this is my point. They'll tell you you lose your sense of smell and your sense of taste. Mm. See, when I was a youth growing up, yeah. anytime I had flu, I lost my sense of smell, my sense of taste. Right. It was a normal thing. I that, didn't see nothing out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary. So the symptoms they were showing me, no, you didn't get a bloody nose, your eyes didn't start bleeding. Mm. You, get what Brother, you know what everyone forgets this is one thing that I said about this COVID thing yeah and this is another thing what made me just know that this this ain't right when this thing first bust in um, Wuhan remember what people forget the stories people were dropping down at the zebra crossing and dead in yeah fear them mm. you understand mm. the whole thing like all the way the way it came to us mm. and the way the way it was the, the way it came to us and the way we got it were completely different right mm. that they were completely different. Yeah. And then even now, every minute, there's a new strain. Yeah. Every, every minute. minute. We went back to normal. We went back. Uh, we went been at uh, dances from last year. Yeah, you get on to dances. We went been at artists on stage. Yo, we hadn't been did that. All this time, I ain't been able to perform for a year. Yeah. Imagine. Big strain. All the way Big Western world. Big Western world. Mad so, and then, So then, same thing like, so if, if you knew that about Wuhan, over here, like in the so-called Western world now, like how long did it take you to close barriers? And you knew that that was coming. All right. So then your infections start and you still don't close the barriers. And then, so the UK government, I've got a brethren who lives in France. So me and him was chatting all the time. And I was like, one day I was like to him, what's, because he's talking to a man in Spain, a man in Germany. So I'm like, what's you guys' opinion of how the UK's handling it? And the rest of the world was looking at the UK like, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. Everybody else seems, like, oh, the thing clamped down. Uh, the, 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 if it's a mask, it's a mask. If it's not, it's not. One way or the other. But they're all looking at the UK like, and this was in the early stages, like, what are you doing? Ain't that the UK? I thought they were, I thought they were on peed, this thing. What, the Queen peed up. Like, you look all right. <laughs> yeah. So the rest of the yeah. world were looking at us like, so then this is what I found strange. Not even strange. This is where they kind of like, well, I thought, ah, oh, here we go again. Like man's idiot, all right, this is for the sheeple, because us not clocking this a mile off. So now, UK started having crazy deaths. Started overtaking Europe's deaths, like, UK's getting hit bad, hit bad. Then all of a sudden, UK come out with vaccine. Yeah, yeah, we're the leaders for the vaccine. As a matter of fact, let's not vaccine. We're leading how much people we've got vaccinated. On a scale of everyone around the world, we vaccinate more people per percentage, per 100,000 than anyone else. That switched in like a few months. Well, I was sitting back looking like, well, if this was a PR campaign, there's a, oh, you lot are right on the ball. That's when I dropped one of my free stars. Lockdown to episode one. Yeah. I was like, all right, I can see what you're doing. We learned from the first lockdown, that's bare lies. First time we was all scattered, like, what's yeah, going no on? One was was no, don't get it twisted. Yes. Yeah, no one knows what's going on. When it yeah. first came, yeah, man, man was, was free. Shook. What, two, three weeks? Man yeah. was free. You didn't know what was going on. It's mm. like, what? And all you could hear is what they were saying. And I tell you what scared everyone 
when you saw the whole world responding. Yes, the same. speaking the, the same The world language. was speaking yeah, the same yeah, language, yeah, as we were yeah, saying yeah, earlier. Yeah. When you see the world speaking the same language, it was serious. there was a, oh, okay. But then we knew, wow, we're in the end game. But what we've been taught since we were young, mm. this can't be it now. Two weeks in, like, nah, this ain't it. Man, we knew. Uh, and then... Biblical it. time. It's what it. are you saying? We've, We've been seen. saying oh, mate, biblical times. The conversations times. we were having here, you see, mm. if you weren't the man then, and you were just some outsider and you, you weren't educated, yeah, you would have You would have sat around, man, and thought, man, we're going nuts. We're gone. But you see, the maddest thing, nearly everything we said from back then has been coming to pass. Come. It's been happening. Come. I'm just waiting to see aliens. I've been yeah, saying yeah, it for yeah. a little while. That's one. the next thing. That just, that's, that's the, the only thing, thing we're waiting to see. Let's just get to phase three. Let's just get to it. Phase three, aliens. That's it. Yeah, and you know what? I even I even saw a report one time where that was in part of their phase where they're gonna stage Damn. a fake alien invasion based on everything that's built up so far, all of the Roswell, da 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 da, da tie it all in and stage a fake alien invasion <laughs> just to to implement the last yeah, stage yeah. of the clamp now. <laughs> yeah. So jum, jum, jum. Right, now I need to protect the whole world yes. from an outer <laughs> space force. One world. Tell her yard. Eight yeah, o'clock yeah, here. Yeah, one world. Don't move. You're going yes, to want to do it. Yes, brother. Yeah. yeah the yeah. first time we lick down yeah. one of them aliens in Parliament <laughs> and put it on TV, you're going to be like, no, yes. lock it down. Our, yes, Lock brother. it down. Give my youth the chip to yeah. I, I need to know where he is. <laughs> I, I, I remember that I said it. Real. Remember I said it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give my you the chip to you. I need to know where it is real. all the time. It's, it's real. Because there's an alien threat. Right. Nice real. So, nice real. I've, That's said, nice real. I've always said this things. Here. Don't, government. Put it, don't put it past anything. Don't Because how many times in the past has all these events happened? 9-11. And hey, did you and read the, say, the playbook? No, I can't be that. You see the, the book that you read? Was it a playbook? 2010, the Rockefeller book thing? No, no, it wasn't okay, that one. But okay. yeah, I, I've heard yeah, about yeah, this one. Yeah, the phase one, two, and two, and that. Come on, It's mad. It's nearly... To the within team. A, to, yeah, it's nearly to a the millimeter team. of what's going on so right now. So what was now. the film? Contagion. 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 That's, that's it's nearly to the T of that. What is it a, is it a new it? film? No, it's old, man. Ten okay, years old. Okay, old. okay, okay. It's old nearly film. to the T of that. Okay, yeah, film, okay. Film. Yeah, old so we, we can see that they've been putting it out in movies from time. Mm. We, we see how they play their game. Even on this, there's going to be some weirdo saying, ah, these men are nuts, blood. What's wrong with these men? Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Trust me, yeah, but you know what it is? is not for the faint artists. You see no, what the thing is? No, you no. see what the thing is? A lot I'm of people trying to wake up no one. A lot of people talk without substance. Yeah. Now this is the thing. Yeah. In order for you to even challenge man, what man's saying here, go you have to have backup. Go you can't just come here and say, "Yeah, you're chatting rubbish." Show me your evidence of why we're chatting uh, rubbish. Mm-hmm to challenge what we're saying. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'll yeah. accept it. If you bring it and you can prove it to me, I'm not going to stand up there and deny facts. I don't do that. That's not what man's here for. Man's not bent or mad no. in their head. Mm-hmm. Man deal with facts. You understand? No. You come with your facts, I'm, I can't argue with facts. Definitely. But you I, see on I, your research, you're going to find out some truth. Some so truth. that's supposed to be a good would, thing that you're going to no, go and research. that's the greatest. I want them yeah. to go and research. Yeah, like, I, like the youth them. I want the youth them to understand. Egyptians are Africans. They're black people. Right, right. Do you understand? This is what Egypt, Egypt is, Africa. All these other Egyptians that you're seeing, they're not the original people. No, no, no. They come and moved in there at a later stage. I went to Egypt and I had the modern day Egyptians mm-hmm. looking at me like, what are you doing there, bro? Like as if I went to a rural town in Cornwall or something, mm-hmm. and I'm not supposed to be here. Now I got them kind of treatment there. Mm-hmm. We went into a shop, we ordered something. The woman looked at us, I just walked up. I started talking some mm-hmm. And then some next brother come out and said, hi, how can I help you? How can you help me? What's up with home girl? Mm-hmm. Well, I just per- placed my order just a minute mm-hmm. ago. So we could see the racism there as black men when mm-hmm. we went to Egypt. Mm-hmm. Me and my brethren was looking at each other like, are we not in Egypt? Done. We've come here to research mm. our history and thing. Anyway, when we went to the pyramids, saw the Sphinx, the pyramids, went up close, I climbed up a couple of bricks of the Great Pyramid. Mad, mad. Everyone needs to do that if you can get to Egypt and go to the Great Pyramid at Giza. Mad. Change your life experience. When I was there, I was noticing like they're selling things around here, artifacts and little bits and pieces. But 
their synagogues and their mosques and stuff. You can't sell nothing outside there. That's blasphemy. So I'm like, you don't even rate this because you didn't build this. You know the people that built this ain't you. <laughs> yeah. So you ain't got the respect for it. Mm. What I've got coming from foreign, I'm coming from foreign, trying to respect my ancestors' things. The people who live there don't respect it. So you can see the colorism, the racism, the modern day people moving in and taking over you lot. So you can, I can see it right there in Egypt. Mm. So, like you said, Egyptians are black people. Mm. Ancient Kemet. It's not going to be maps. You see what history, history in the history in the future, yard's going to be. I can see yard being like that. Yeah. 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 Taken over by, do you get me? Different, different people. Different Chinese people, people man. Yeah. yeah the Chinese Chinese don't, right don't, there. don't, don't, don't sugarcoat it, man. They you know, everyone knows what's getting, going on yeah, in yard. And you know what? No, the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that to you, because even a Chinese man, one, there was a Chinese man, he made a statement and he said, black people are the most stupid people. And, he, and the reason why he said that, and it's a, it goes back to what we said earlier, and he said, there's no other people that don't build up their own thing, like mm-hmm. black people. Just give it away. So the Asian man, I get up, I look for an Asian shop. Yeah, yeah. Black men don't get up and look for black people. No. They don't, mm-hmm. they, you never get up and say, let me go see these black people that are popping. Like, mm-hmm. the, it's very few. I'm not going to say never. Just because. It's real. Yeah. 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 Just because. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And that's programming. Like, yeah. I, self-hate is one of the most real things I've it's ever come across. It's one of the realest things. It's one of the most powerful tools they ever came up ever. with. Ever. Ever came up with. To the point where a man can look at a next black brother and say, you just don't like him. Mm, for mm. no reason. You don't even know him. Mm. you got to think about it, you know. Mm. How can you not like something that you don't know? Like, just think about that. That's like seeing a cake on the thing, saying, I don't like how that tastes. I don't like You've never that tasted it, but you yeah. looked at it and said, I do not like how that tastes. I don't like how that smells. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it smells different because no, it smells No, but you no, can't but, like how that No, but then, with that, see it, with that analogy, the same person will go another place and see something else, never tasted that before, I say I love that. but because it's been presented by someone yeah. else He'll taste in a it. different way, He'll give it a chance. polished, that it, it got brought to him in a Benz, presented in a rolly box, no. and then, then, uh, with, a, with a Gucci yeah, right. badge on it. Then, you know, once it's got all mm. the certain badges around it, oh, instantly I want to taste that Gucci cake. Yeah. 100%. No, no, 100%. What it like. Same way I went to the one the man in my food. Man just said, yo, is that kitchen clean? Is that kitchen clean that the food's cooked in? Yeah. <laughs> Same blood you eat yeah. from takeaways all the time. Man will <laughs> Uber eat. You Uber eat. You don't even know the person who's bringing your food from the restaurant to yeah. your house. Yeah, as he as could be, man he say, could be a, you get me? Mm. A case in itself. Yeah, as soon as man say, check mm. from, yeah, is that kitchen clean? Is that and, kitchen clean? Uh, and that's, that's part of the programming. So it's our job to unprogram that and show the alternatives as well. Mm-hmm. Like I see a post come up the other day. I was sharing this post like crazy because to me like this is what we need. So like you see like as things just open back up. I don't know if you lot see it. A post came across like 55 black owned outdoor seeing restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah outdoor eating. Yeah. And then I'd like the southeast, the northwest, yeah, yeah. The, 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 like all the different areas. I was like right these are the things that we need. You can mm. talk, talk, talk all you want, but right now, a bag of man are rushing out of their yard to going spend to money. Places. They're going to spend money. Direct the thing, please. Di- so when I saw that, I was like, right, this is the type of things. Black yeah, Wall Street. Any of the youngers, anybody mm. out there, have you heard of the Black Wall Street app? If you haven't, go and look for that, download it, add it to your things. Black Wall Street app is exactly what we're talking about. Someone's created an app to say, let's put all the black businesses here. So if you are looking for black businesses, just go to Black Wall Street. You see? But this is this is one of the big things. things that that advertise. But this is one of the big things. This black is, Wall Street app. This is one of the big things I want to say about the youth and to the youth, yeah? And even me, even us over here, we're guilty of it. A lot of us, we kind of bombard you with don't and what you should be doing yeah, and not. Do this, but we don't, don't give do you this. the information for you to go places right, and, and actually it. get the help Definitely. and do the that's things it. that you want to do. Yeah. And that's and you know what? I'm even gonna front. We're kind of guilty of that on here, so we're gonna change that. We're gonna get we're gonna get some information for all the youths them and throw it up and for throw you. it up for yeah, you yeah. places that you yeah, can yeah. go and get support that's for whatever. It. Even if you want to start your own business. You might be able to get a grant over there. We're going to get a list of these things and we're going to put them up for you. That's mm-hmm. it. You understand? Because it's all good us telling you, but if we're not showing you, then it don't make it no don't sense. Make no sense. It. Well, then, well, 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 then that will bring me to the Bradder, the Bradder Trust. Right. So I started the Bradder Trust last year. So that was my... I've started a charity now, so we're running workshops for the youngers. So exactly that. We're trying to put back into the community now. Mm-hmm. So 
music courses, cooking courses, like videography, photography. So we're just using like our skills, like you as the photographer. Come and give me two hours a week, bro. Yeah. Just chat to these youngers and let them know how to hold a camera. And by the end of the, like the eight to 12 week course, the point is you come in and wanting to record a song. Okay, but by the time you leave here, I'm gonna show you how to sell the song, market yourself, create your own website, mm -hmm. create your own entity so you can be self-sustaining, not just, I've got a song and I always need someone else to help yes, me produce it to the next stage. Yeah, just we just want to teach you how to be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And that self-sufficiency is only tools that we just wasn't given. Oh, so that's what the Badder Trust is all about. Give you the tools, that we took years and years to work out for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Or had to fail this many times before we... And I yep. was, nothing's wrong with that. It wouldn't change nothing in my journey, but I'm gonna help you a lot earlier than... Man, yeah, right. I rate that. A lot 100%. earlier. Mm -hmm. You should be popping a lot earlier than me, because mm -hmm. you got more tools now. And in the time that we're in now, we ain't got time to waste. See, the one thing I want to say to the youths them, wait, let me just say this quickly. To the youths them that are watching it, Take advantage of man like that, you know, because you don't come across man like that regularly. Right. I'm going to tell, I, I always tell you, look, there's that always bad, true. there's that's bad man, man. There's man, he's age out there that will take you to do fuckery. Yes. You understand? Yes. That will yes. mess up yes. your yes. life for yes. you yes. forever. Yes. You'll be, you make a one mistake with that big man, wow. you'll be paying for it for 30, Definitely. 20 years. Definitely. You understand? And how many of them do we know? All Definitely. right, then. Personally. Do you understand? Definitely. Grew it. Definitely. Do you understand? Right. There's yeah, man like this out here that are willing to help you, look. I don't, obviously, I know it's not easy for you, look, man. Peer pressure, everything, work no, one, all of that. But find a man. He's out here. Too mm. bad to trust. This you understand? Go away. find him. Mm. Makes sense. Mm, man, man. You understand? Big up, boy. Oh. Changing the narrative, bro. Changing the narrative. Brother, proper. Trust exactly, me. Exactly, And doing you know exactly what? You've done that. it at an age, yeah, where you've seen a lot. You've seen mm. a lot, you've been mm. through a lot, and you have children God, of kids. your own. Do right. you understand? It's a, it's a vital age for vital you, the age, age that right. it all spun and around. They're, and they're at different ages as well. So, mm. you know, like, I it's saw, hard to deliver I the saw knowledge. Like one in primary school. Yeah, so you can't oh, deliver. The knowledge up there, you can't deliver the same knowledge there. It's, right, so it's got to be in different. Right. Yeah, but they're going to they're gonna show. <laughs> yeah, I'm of so, course. I'm yeah, so glad yeah, you yeah. said that. See, my eldest now, the teaching that I first taught her was the teaching I got from my mum. Work hard, do as good as you can. No. You see what I'm teaching little man? See what I'm teaching little man? If something's wrong and it's out of place, you stamp your feet and you bang the wall until they listen to you. There's no turning a blind eye. There's no just getting by for business sake or for work sake. No, no, no. You upset the whole of the workplace because they all need to know this can't run. So little man gets different teachings from her and I've had to, but even though, like you said, she helps. She would oh, yeah, she, she brings them along. Yeah, come on. Yeah, she knows what time it is. So, yeah, it's mad. The age now what I'm at, I'm at an age where I've got grown kids and still got younger ones, and it's right in the space where actually I can reach all of you right now. Yeah. See, it's it's coming back to what we were saying, unique, you know. Go on. It's a unique time, yeah. Where we were talking about, you see what age, what age do you say rapping? Because mm. remember, you're not just a rapper, your thing's a movement. Yeah. But this is what I'm coming with age. Mm. We, we had this discussion. Yeah, we did. What is the age that you say is the, 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 the right age to say, you know what, enough's enough? I'm as not going out there, but you see your thing rapper. as I'm saying, as a rapper. Oh, but you're oh. not just a rapper. You're so, yeah. You see what it is. Get me. Like, you see, like, all right then. Let's see. That's it, interesting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're not just a I've rapper. I've had those conversations. Yeah, yeah. And I've been through them times. Because you could have made that decision, you know. Before Remember this, no, this thing. If you did, yeah, I'm saying never got. You wouldn't. All this. You're trying to say. We wouldn't have got. So then, so then, all right. So, where I can answer that from my point of view first, right? As a grown man who's still got a rap career that's relevant yeah. and still can pursue that in a way yes. where there is a, a stereotype and a stigma that when you reach a certain age, that done, bruv. Mm. Where I can speak from my point of view, like you said, it's not just rap for me. It's a for me, I got a message and a movement to give to the world. Rap is just my tool. If I was an artist, I would have drew it. Yeah, you know yeah, that yeah, way? If, yeah, I was yeah, some, yeah. if I was someone else, I would have... Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever way, you would have got it out. Rap's just my tool. So I've managed to... I've managed to develop my craft over the years to a point where I can use my tool in a positive way. I can make it, make an impact. So, for someone else now, coming up, you've got to that age where 
But what? What's it's, going it's on? Still out there doing this thing, right? Yeah. And it ain't working. It ain't much yet. What I would say to that person there is, you see your dreams, your dreams, and if you believe in yourself, that hasn't got a time limit on it. So all these barriers and stereotypes that's been put up, man put that up, somebody put that up. Mm -hmm. That was a, your mm. core talent and your essence that told you it's too late. Yeah, it's too mm -hmm. late for that. Mm -hmm. There's other people who told you that. Strip away them other people. Is this core, is this still burning inside of you? That's it. That's, that's, the, answer. that's the answer to everything. Yeah. And that, that goes for if you're a writer, if you're an actor, if you, it doesn't matter what it is. Definitely. Does this passion still burn inside of you? Would you do this anyway? You know, like in your spare time. time. Yeah, 100. And uh, like, would you, would you do that anyway? There yeah. you go. That's your answer there. Mm. Age sense. don't come into it. Yeah, that's right. Let me ask you a question as a black man. You feel like they're attacking Noel Clark or you feel like he's... That's a big question. Yeah, cool. Because I had this conversation this week. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like it's too early to jump the gun and make a decision. Mm -hmm. I don't know enough information. Yep. And that would be the same for me with anything. I ain't speaking on anything if I don't know the full information. Yeah, see. I, I would also add to that, usually there's no smoke without fire. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, the balanced side of that would be, timing is a little bit coincidental, isn't it? Just won your things, just got awarded your things. As soon as... Black man, I pull down. Then it starts to sound very reminiscent of Wiley. Because I wrote a freestyle about Wiley and I left it a time, I did my research. It feels very reminiscent of that. Like, he's just pulling down a man. And then I thought, do you know what? Let me wait a little time yeah, before. Yeah, I don't I... know enough. Yeah, I, yeah. All I know is the propaganda side of it. Mm -hmm. And one thing I will say, a woman said to me, yeah, but 20 though. It's, it's gone more than that now. What, 20 odd victims? Well, it's though? more than 20 now. Mm. Oh, yeah. What, 20, 20 odd victims? And then I said, yeah, I read a tweet that said the same thing as that. And I stepped back and I thought to myself, if he was to slander a man, all you'd have to do is put a big number and it done. Everybody would just do that without even researching. Number Punch big, it. number big, can't be lies. <laughs> <laughs> just because she said it and I read the same thing and I thought, oh, all you two needed was the number 20 and that is it, it yeah, done. That's it. So that made me think, well, no, hold on a minute. You could just, what, yeah, you could just yeah. done me by just yeah. saying. 20. 20. <laughs> no research, no, no number. cap. Number, 20. number big. That's it. Where's the yeah, cap? Yeah, no yeah, need for yeah. cap. That's what I'm saying. So, Fucking because of, the, I'm like, I ain't quick to just pull down my brother, so my that. black brother. You've done years of work in this community and helped build up so many different jobs, actors' jobs, producers' jobs, inspire the next generation to. You can be a writer, you can be a director, you can, you've done so much positivity in that just by what you've done in your work. I ain't so quick to just pull you down like that. No, he has. I rate that. I ain't even, so quick. even like, even the kiddohood. Like, yeah, we can talk about the bullet boys and the, and the other ones, but. Kid Hood was groundbreaking stuff. Mm. And it was really about our lives. It ricocheted around us yeah. all. And it was really about our lives and it was groundbreaking. Could relate. Yeah, it weren't no Mickey Mouse thing. Mm. No, no, no. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, why? Okay. Yeah, it's it's judgment best. reserved. Yeah, judgment reserved, I would mm. say. That's uh, the it's, best it's, thing. It's, it's early doors. It's too early for that. Yeah, to make yeah, any definitely. kind of judgment. Like, I need to hear some. It's definitely. So, so what's future plans? Mm. Mm. Well, all right, there's a, so I just dropped the freestyle fundraiser. So I did a big I fundraiser, the, the Ballot Trust, cake, yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw in that. conjunction with Younger TV. Mm -hmm. So we put on a fundraiser to raise funds for the Ballot Trust for the workshops we mm -hmm. about. That went really well, enough support. So now we've got a concert coming up. Shout out to all my Midlands crew. Okay, we're, you got? We're, we're saying too much at the moment, mm. but we're looking up there for like a one night with Ballot. So, it's a concert style, there's going to be a few companies involved, we're going to have a few little tricks on the night as well, pop-up shops, all kinds of things. So that's coming. And then, so my daughter TZ, her project's coming out now. She's going on crazy with the team now. Yeah, and yeah. what does she do? Let yeah, she raps as well. She raps, so, yeah? yeah? TZ raps. So me and TZ just shot a video. Together? Yeah, we shot a video together, so a daddy-daughter video. Sick. This video is dropping in like two weeks. 
So say tunes, so, so, two so, by the featuring TZ, What We Become. It's on my EP. So my EP, what I dropped in February, which is out there streaming now, Spotify, everything. Mm -hmm. What We Become is on that EP featuring my daughter. The video for that drops in next couple weeks. Ah, I'm gonna weeks, tune in. I'm tuning in. That's mad. That's mad. I'm that's mad. Okay. I'm because wonder. she's I'm like, tonight. she's like, I don't want to say too much, but like, she's ready. Different. She's ready. Ready. Been developing for years. She she's been on her own development as well. Like, so she's got herself to a place where I right, bring it over. You need to go back again, and then she stayed away for a while. You see when she came back again? Different. Right. Different. Levels. Levels. That's all I can say. I Levels. That. I Levels. That. So I'm like, that. yeah, I'm looking. I'm excited for her project. I'm excited. So, so like, <laughs> yeah. Two Bad Up featuring TZ, What We Become. That's the next thing that's dropping. Daddy Do A Duo. Daddy mad, Do A Duo. Legendary it's, stuff. It's mad. It's mad. No, mad, mad, tough. mad. That's legendary. She's got, she got a lot to say. Mm -hmm. She got a lot to say. She must do. You're I, a I dad. I had a lot to say. She got a lot to say. <laughs> great. I'm great. Now. You're a dad. She's definitely got I'm a lot to say. I'm Too Bad Up. Yeah. Who do you listen to in the UK? Yourself. But like UK. That like UK music is like... Or anywhere, yard man. What's your favorite genre of music? Yeah, my favorite genre is reggae. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Old so, stuff. so like, nineties bashman. Mm -hmm. That you just can't get me away from that. Mm -hmm. But then like the same era hip hop as well. So the Wu Tang Buster Clan D Block era of yes, hip hop. Yes, yes. So like nowadays modern music. Out of the modern music, like I like J Cole. Mm -hmm. I like J Cole because you kind of capture both kind of worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even Young M.A. did that as well. Yep. Yeah, Young yeah. M.A. came out of Brooklyn like, Brooklyn's still alive with this thing. 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very, it's a wide range. So then when we go over to Yard, Buju. Mm -hmm. Always. Buju, Beanie and Bounty. I yeah. grew up on this. Yes, yes, they, yes, I, gr yes. I grew up on this. This was like a core. Buju, Beanie and Bounty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then out of that, obviously, k was always our foundation. So yes, yes. It, it's a very wide genre when it comes to the hip hop and the R&B. Mm -hmm. And hip hop and the bash one. Yeah, yeah. So then the R&B now would be like, like I like Breezy, mm -hmm. Chris Breezy. I like, his, I like his innovation. I like what you do. You're gonna fresh. do something new. Always fresh. You're gonna try something Always new. Fresh. I like that about Breezy. That's what I like about Breezy. He took over from Usher. Newer days. Usher yeah. was like our day thing. Newer and day, he's a new day Michael Jackson. Right, well, so then, so then, but then I'm connecting with the young, so like obviously my kids now. So obviously music's a big thing in our family. Yep. So I want to listen to what you're listening to. What is floating your boat? You hear dad doing his music. They're not all into what I'm into. So then, um, like, Wretch 32. Like, I've always rated Wretch. Nothing to do with them. Wretch, man, Wretch man is just, know. yeah, Wretch is, already know. Yeah, yeah, Wretch is just, Wretch is a wretch. We know that. He's it. different. It's just different. It's a wretch is a wretch. Wretch is like a world class <laughs> artist. Yeah, yeah. World class. Yeah. I can put you on a stage with anybody. Anyone. Yeah, yeah. Anybody. So wretch is world class now. But then, if we're going to go way back in England, like Klashnikov. Bad there boy. hasn't been no one like Klashnikov Never. since Klashnikov. Bad boy. Never. So, you know, like, I'm carrying all these things with me, like from uh, Breezy yeah. to Klashnikov <laughs> to, to Bounty to. Yeah. And then one of the youngers played me at. Um, Meeks. Money. Money. Meeks yeah. money. Yeah. Played me a ting. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. On the tank like coming on the yeah. yeah. So when they played me that, I was like, no all right, show me some more along this line. Because I've got like a, you know, like I've got like that old school opinion, like, if they're just talking road trapping and da da da, I'm not interested, bro. You need to show me something else. Yeah, yeah talk about your life, but spin it show me how you're making a difference or mm -hmm. what else did you go to dinner did you eat mm. did you take your girl Substance. shopping did you do anything else mm. apart from that mm. all right well show me the range of the thing yeah. so there yeah when they brought me the mix thing i was like okay and then um fredo's album dropped one day yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i kind of don't really listen to much of that kind of rap, rap type stuff but but then my son, 18 year old, he was banging something because me and him lived together. He was banging something from his room. And I had to go next door and say, oh, hold on, hold this. <laughs> this is Fredo, dad. This is what I've been telling you about. <laughs> I sat down and listened to him. I was like, all right, let me get past the grease what you're talking now. Let me listen. 
no, you've got something to say. You've got a story to tell. So for me, it's not so much who's popping or who's done. It's more what like, saying and yeah, what are saying. you saying? Bro? Mm. What are you talking about? So then that's why I like, like, Lady Lachelle. Hard. Bad girl. Lady Lachelle, she'll get on this thing and... Body. Oh, yeah, man. there you go. That's the word. She bodies the track mm. and she's got something to say. Mm. No lays popped up again. Lady Lachelle, always, she, no she's, she's, always been she's always been hard. Mm. From helping hand So, you know, like my daughter showed me trillery. TZ showed yes, me yes, trillery yes, and that like yes, that. Yes, like yes, so, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah I've I got a little scope of what's going yeah, on. Yeah. But obviously my thing is about empowering the youth. So there is elements of that where I can't stand behind that. Yeah, 100. I understand your growth. I understand the period you're going through. I was a young, I was a young Donny once. Coming up in the ends where I had all the same influences of you, I didn't make all of the best decisions and nobody couldn't have told me nothing at that time as well. I know it needed growth. So I'm seeing some kind of talent like I'm like, oh, you just need, like my daughter Teezy, I'm like, some of the things Teezy's talking, it's her life. This is how she lives. This is what she's experienced in her life. So you know, like, you just gotta do you. You gotta mm. do you. And since I let her just, just do you, let her be her. Bro, the talent that's coming out of her. Different. Yeah, it's different. Oh, really? no, so, said, yeah, yeah, can't force growth on people. No, 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 you can't force it. When still. you're ready, you're yeah, ready, innit? Growth but, is... but I can give you all the the tools the tools now yeah. drop you the gems I can yeah, of course. and then one day that will just hit in it like a rib shot like rah yeah. I'm just saying yeah, yeah, that to yeah, me yeah, from yeah, yeah. same yeah. thing like, you learn from your parents take a point in your life for that to happen of uncomfortability mm. I think it's I uncomfortability think that's, trust that's, that's what very, it is that's very big and then you start listening then you start hearing things because mm. it's like what your parents told you you never heard it no and the only time you listen is when you're jammed up when you get when you're in a bad actually yeah. you're at home yeah. you know when you're hiding in the bush yeah, yeah. About you listen to my mum yeah. 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 you know like mum's always right <laughs> yeah, you little know, bitch <laughs> come on man we know how the thing yeah, goes when things are smooth sailing like no one can't tell you nothing. no one can't tell you mm. it's 100% yeah so oh my so brother grown. Thank you no, so thank much. Thank you for brother, coming to you, brother. Brothers, 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 thank brothers, you so brothers, much, brother. brother, man. I know yeah, I'm going to go and take it in. I'm taking it in. I'm taking it in. I'm taking it in. Come, come on, man. Definitely. Come on, man. What's hey. the name of the EP again? Yeah, the EP is called Ecoloptic. We're going to throw that up. Spotify, all digital platforms. All digital, Apple Music, Amazon, everything. Instagram too, brother. I just want to say... Big up my pops and that he passed. Yes. On the weekend, you get me? I want to show my dad love, you get me? Done, though. Shower. Keep the fight. You know I love you, Dad. Mm. Um, people, we'll be back again. It's happy to see you. Love and peace. Like, share, Love from subscribe. the blue tick. Like, Come share, on. subscribe, Big blue up. tick all day. Big up. Say nothing. <laughs>